doing well and staying safe welcome back to yet another video of football mania and today we are going to talk about a team which is undefeated for last 35 matches yes my friends this 35 match unbeaten streak is by a team which is none other than argentina which has not lost a game since 2019 that is just insane and if you all ask me as to which is the team which is completely prepared playing as a unit and you know having that cohesiveness going into the fifa world cup in qatar it is argentina and i am not even kidding this team has had that kind of unity after having the you know disappointment in the copa america finals for two consecutive years and lionel messi was in absolutely you know really sad tears and if you look at this entire team lionel scaloni has produced one of the most consistent starting 11 which i have never seen in a national team setup and in the two friendlies which just took place you know they were really outstanding especially i would like to talk about the influence and the impact of lionel messi on this team Yes, he is the captain, he is the talisman and he leads from the front. Not only does he score goals, he comes into very very key positions on the pitch, picks up the ball and makes those penetrative passes which are so very crucial for the team to score goals. And he does an all-round job for the team and Lionel Scaloni has created you know, that kind of bonding where if anything happens to Messi, if he goes to the ground, entire bunch of Argentina players go behind the player like a wolf or a pack of foxes and that is just insane level of commitment that is the kind of team bonding which will really take Argentina deep into this FIFA World Cup tournament and you know everyone have to be very very fearful of this team because they have midfielders who can interchange positions who exactly know when to utilize the space, identify the free space and you know really hurt the opponent. And when I talk about total football, total football is a concept which Johan Cruyff introduced years back where every player is comfortable in different positions. They are very flexible when they you know do the transition from back to front and that just comes with a lot of practice and understanding on the training pitch and Lionel Scaloni is a very young manager and to have 35 matches unbeaten and you know just imagine they are just 3 games behind breaking Italy's record of 37 games and it would be just insane if you know they are to break it because we have all talked about the most successful teams you know at the world level they all have a very very strong defensive unit and to be honest Lisandro Martinez and Christian Romero are two such centre backs who are the future of Argentina Nicolas Otamendi is growing old is definitely past his prime and if you talk about a goalkeeper like Emiliano Martinez between the sticks you have to be really confident because Emiliano Martinez is a goalkeeper who commands the back line. He, you know, gives a sense of assurance and has a lot of composure between the goal. And you require that kind of presence between the sticks because that is what can take you to the next level. And everything starts from the foundation of a team. And Argentina do have a very, very strong defensive unit. In terms of the midfield, Rodrigo De Paul and you know Paredes have been really outstanding. They can interchange positions. They know that when a player is dropping, the other player has the freedom to move forward. And that kind of interchange and interplay, that kind of understanding is something which I have never seen in any other national team so far ahead of the FIFA World Cup. And you know, even in the wings, Angel Di Maria and a player like Joachim Correa are really skillful on the ball. They know when to make those runs, they know when to track back, 
and Lionel Messi, you know, kind of floats in the midfield and sometimes picks up those half spaces where no defender can mark him. And if you just saw their previous match, I think, you know, they played Jamaica recently, which was, you know, just a crazy match. In the first half, obviously, you know, Julian Alvarez has been an inspiration, a young talent which everyone knew that he can score goals and be a breath of fresh air for this Argentina setup. And talking about Lautaro Martinez, how he is linking up well with Lionel Messi is obviously going to be very, very pivotal leading up to the World Cup. And nobody can deny the fact that Argentina are the favourites. At this moment in time, if you talk about intent, if you talk about high press, if you talk about, you know, execution of, you know, the rotation in the midfield, everything is just going according to the plan for Lionel Scaloni. And he has to be really, really optimistic going into the World Cup because he has seen a pattern of play which is really you know, infusing with confidence, which is giving a sense of belief to Argentina that the World Cup can come back to the hometown of Lionel Messi. And this will be the icing on the cake if Messi can finally lift the World Cup to end the debate of who is the greatest of all time. There have been a lot of pundits who have been questioning Messi's ability for the national team. And if this Argentina team can finally lift the World Cup, this is going to be an insane level of you know, joy and ecstasy what we'll be seeing in Rosario or Buenos Aires or any other place in Argentina. And you know, Lionel Messi is one such player, according to me, is the greatest of all time. And you know, if there was one such player who deserved to win the World Cup, it has to be Lionel and his Messi. Not just because of the goals or not just because of the assists that he has delivered consistently for so many years, but because of the joy and the magic which he produces week in, week out, when you think that the game is going to end in a standstill. That, my friends, is something which really makes Lionel Messi different from other footballers in the professional level. And he is not just a footballer, he is a freak, he is an alien and you know, sometimes he defies the laws of physics. And that just goes to show that you know, he is still humble, he is willing to learn each and every day and that is the hallmark of a great champion. He has won loads of Ballon d'Ors, he has won lots of La Liga titles in his career, he has won you know, the Copa del Rey, he has won the Champions League and he has also won the Finale Sima, he has won the Copa America. But now is the time for this Argentina team to finally deliver. And, you know, nobody would be denying the fact that, you know, they will be the hot favourites once again and they have a relatively very easy group with Saudi Arabia, Mexico and Poland. And to be honest, it should be a cakewalk for them. They should ideally finish in the top of the group and qualify for the knockouts in the round of 16. And I am expecting Argentina, especially in the knockout stages, to be really, you know, ready for the fight. And we all know that South American blood is really, really boiling when it comes to the knockout phase of any tournament. Especially now that they are in the World Cup, it will be interesting to see how Lionel Scaloni lines up his team Will he be playing in a 4-3-2-1 formation? Will he be playing in a 4-4-2 formation? You know, it all depends on what kind of squad that can Argentina go with. And I will be really confident, you know, with the likes of Giovanni Lo Celso, Paredes, Rodrigo de Paul, Di Maria, and obviously the great man Lionel Messi. I think they have a squad which is not just capable of winning the World Cup, is capable of dominating world football for a very long time to come. So guys, once again, Argentina is the hot topic of discussion going into the World Cup. So I would love to know what are your thoughts. Do you think that finally the great man Lionel Messi can win the World Cup with Argentina? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. 
and if you like this video please do not forget to hit the like button share it amongst your network and please hit the bell notification for regular updates so until next time stay safe and take care